As we know, Starship, Elon's most colossal rocket, might advance to newer versions like Starship V2 or Starship V3, with an upgraded height being a certainty. But will their width change as well? How will the fuel tanks be expanded, and how will this affect the rocket's performance? When will the increase in Starship size stop? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. A future Starship, much larger and more advanced, will travel to other star systems. That is Elon's inspiring promise regarding the redesign of the Starship in a tweet from back in March. The current interplanetary spacecraft has a diameter of 9 meters. SpaceX's Starship, a fully reusable spacecraft designed for missions to Mars and beyond, boasts a current diameter of 9 meters. This significant width, combined with a height of 121 meters, makes Starship the largest rocket ever built. However, Elon Musk and the SpaceX team are not resting on their laurels with this already impressive feat. There are concrete plans to stretch both the Starship and its booster super heavy, making them taller and thereby increasing their fuel capacity. The primary motivation behind these modifications is to enhance the spacecraft's performance by allowing it to carry more fuel. This would enable longer missions and the ability to transport heavier payloads crucial for the ambitious goals SpaceX has set for human space exploration. In addition to adjusting the height, Elon has also hinted at the possibility that future versions of Starship could exceed that current diameter of 9 meters. This statement was made by Elon five years ago, but given the recent developments in the rocket's length, the possibility of increasing its width cannot be ruled out. Technically, as Starship becomes larger, its fuel tanks also increase significantly. Propellant tanks, which store the fuel and oxidizer necessary for a rocket's journey, are arguably the most crucial components of any launch vehicle. The role of propellant tanks extends beyond mere storage. They directly influence a rocket's efficiency, weight, and overall performance. In the quest for space travel, Engineers strive to maximize the amount of fuel a rocket can carry while minimizing the structural mass of the tanks themselves. This is where the shape and size of the tanks become critically important. Cylindrical tanks are the preferred design in rocketry due to their inherent structural efficiency. The cylindrical shape helps to distribute the pressure exerted by the stored propellant evenly across the tank's walls. This distribution reduces the amount of material needed to construct the tank, thereby minimizing its weight. Additionally, cylinders are easy to manufacture and integrate into the overall rocket structure compared to more complex shapes. Increasing the diameter of a rocket can enhance the efficiency of these cylindrical tanks. When the diameter increases, the volume of the cylindrical tank increases faster than the surface area, meaning larger tanks can hold more fuel without proportionally increasing the weight of the tank. This improved volume-to-surface area ratio leads to higher overall efficiency. This means that for a given increase in tank volume, the corresponding increase in surface area, and therefore the amount of material needed, is relatively smaller. Consequently, the tank becomes more efficient, carrying more fuel with only a modest increase in weight. So, which version of the Starship will be the expandable version? It's certainly not Starship V2, as we all saw its first ring earlier this year, and there was no change in width. Therefore, Starship V3, with a height of 150 meters, is likely to be the version that could see an increase in diameter. The first assumption for the change in the rocket's diameter is 12 meters. This number was mentioned in its original design of Starship when it was called the Interplanetary Transport System, or ITS for short. When V3 carries 2,300 tons of propellant, it would benefit from a 12-meter diameter, as this size offers a favorable balance between the volume and the structural materials required. The second assumption for Starship V3 is increasing the diameter to 18 meters, doubling the diameter of its predecessors and aligning with the specifications of Starship 2.0. An 18-meter diameter would make Starship the widest rocket ever built, with a first-stage SIC of Saturn V being 10 meters wide and the first-stage N1 Block A of the Soviet Union having an impressive diameter of approximately 17 meters at its widest point. 
Although Elon once acknowledged this assumption, saying probably 18 meters for next-gen system, however, for Starship to operate normally, it would need to increase its height further and have engines either in greater quantity or significantly be more powerful. Therefore, if comparing the two assumptions, a 12-meter diameter would be more suitable for Starship V3. Nonetheless, the possibility that SpaceX might continue to develop another version in the future, possibly V4 or V5, cannot be ruled out. While the benefits of larger diameters are clear, several structural and logistical challenges accompany such designs. The first is structural and transportational challenges. Larger rockets require stronger materials and more sophisticated engineering to ensure structural integrity under the immense pressures and stresses of launch and space travel. Additionally, transporting these enormous structures from the manufacturing site to the launch pad poses significant logistical hurdles. Roads, bridges, other infrastructure may not be designed to handle such oversized cargo, necessitating alternative transport methods such as ships or specially designed transport vehicles. Second is the problem of factory infrastructure speed. Building larger starships will also require substantial upgrades to SpaceX's manufacturing capabilities. The production lines, tooling, and assembly buildings, like those at the Boca Chica facility, must be capable of accommodating the increased dimensions of the new starship variants. This could involve expanding existing facilities, constructing new buildings, and upgrading machinery to handle larger components. Moreover, launch infrastructure, including launch towers and transporters, will need to be scaled up to support the larger rockets. Finally, there are economical and practical considerations. Beyond the physical challenges, the economic implications of scaling up production must be considered. The costs associated with manufacturing larger rockets, modifying infrastructure, and addressing transportation logistics can be substantial. Balancing these costs with the expected benefits of enhanced mission capabilities is crucial for the viability of larger Starship variants. To be honest, the potential of larger spacecraft is enormous, but it comes with limitations that require SpaceX to make changes or even redesign their entire development program. However, in the end, if SpaceX can create larger rockets, both in height and width, it'll mark the beginning of the peak era of human interplanetary exploration. Putting aside future achievements for the next few centuries, the most important thing is still how far SpaceX has come with the Starship program. SpaceX has made considerable progress in the development of the Starship program after four test launches. The most recent test, conducted on June 6th, showed promising results. SpaceX just released an impressive video capturing key moments from this fourth test flight. Starship, the launch system that NASA hopes will return humans to the moon and eventually take them to Mars, demonstrated outstanding capabilities in this test. The Super Heavy booster performed efficiently in the initial phase of the flight and made a controlled landing in the Gulf of Mexico after separation. The upper part of the Starship also completed its orbital flight before landing in the Indian Ocean, albeit with a small fire. The new video focuses primarily on the journey of the Super Heavy booster. New angles from cameras mounted on the top of the rocket and from a nearby buoy show a spectacular scene as the booster lands vertically on the sea surface. Notably, SpaceX also revealed images of the launch tower at Starbase in South Texas, featuring two gigantic robotic arms used to catch the rocket upon landing. At the end of the vehicle, an animation depicts a 400-foot, 122-meter super-heavy rocket returning to land at the Starship launch tower, known as Mechazilla, alongside the words Next Up and Flight 5, indicating that the company plans to attempt catching the booster in the next test flight, expected early next month. However, there are still many technical and managerial challenges to be addressed before this can happen. SpaceX aims to catch the Super Heavy on its launch tower so the rocket can be refurbished and relaunched more efficiently and in a shorter time frame, the company says. Elon, the founder of SpaceX, has expressed the ambition to attempt this landing in the next launch. However, Kathy Loiters, the general manager of Starbase, recently shared that this plan might not take place on the fifth flight. Nonetheless, the newly released video shows that this possibility is still being seriously considered. Such a landing would not only create a spectacular sight, but also mark a significant advancement in rocket reusability technology. However, it also poses safety challenges, especially when the booster might carry substantial amounts of residual fuel upon landing. To conduct this test, SpaceX needs to obtain permission from the Federal Aviation Administration to ensure the safety of people and property on the ground. With the necessary procedures, it seems unlikely that the next test flight will happen before August. Overall, SpaceX's recent advances in the Starship program 
are drawing significant attention from the space community and the public. Successfully developing this launch system not only opens up opportunities for deep space exploration missions, but also has the potential to revolutionize the space industry, helping reduce costs and increase the frequency of space flights in the future. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.